one question for you today. Have I ever failed you in creating and giving you fabulous content time and time again? I'm gonna answer that for you. The answer is no. And today, I'm gonna give you another handful of fabulous content. And do not believe in content. Isn't that right, Eric? That's right. Hello. And welcome back, beautiful. Thank you for being here. Before we watch more, I have a giveaway for you guys. And... <laughs> Why don't I show you what the giveaway is? Let me, let me, let me just do a, let me grab it real quick. So the giveaway is just like all my other giveaways. All you gotta do is follow Xmondo Hair on Instagram and follow Bradmondo NYC on Instagram. And then just like the first picture on my account. And there is a lot of stuff to win, girl. Especially this mirror, this Riki. Ricky skinny mirror that's $200 and my favorite thing I have my own I actually love it it's so easy to travel with it's like super super thin LED mirror and it's a great great brand I really do love this brand then we have like eyeshadows we have urban decay elements palette we have caviar shampoo conditioner oil we have urban decay brushes we have palettes on palettes on palettes we have Poor professional by benefit. We, girl, we got it all for you. And it, it'll all be on my Instagram so you guys can go look at it on my Instagram story. And lastly, I'll be announcing the winner on May 16th on my Instagram story. So check it out on that day to see if you won all of these goodies. Today we have a couple of people that I'm gonna be watching today that bleached their hair so many times in one day that it was clearly not a good idea for them. We have to watch to see how big of a fail it's gonna be, but I'm sure it's gonna be pretty good because uh, mm, I never fail to give you fabulous content. We're gonna start watching these videos. Let's do it. All right, our first video is called Bleaching My Hair Three Times in One Day, Dying It Blue, Disaster. Obviously, I've been sent this video a billion times by you guys and I'm finally watching it. And it's by Kayla Rose. All right, Kayla, what's going on here? You should be telling me not to do this. Uh, yeah. I got the Salon Care 30 volume developer. Okay. The toner. I got a 20 volume developer. Okay. Toner by Wella in T18. T18. Arctic Fox. Love that one. Dream. Got Periwinkle by them as well because this color looked insanely pretty when I looked up pictures of it. I have no idea what I'm doing, so we'll see how well that turns out. And then Perfect. So she's starting off with extremely dark hair. Can't wait for this to be a disaster and turn out orangutan orange. To one part developer. So okay, that's good. Okay, possible. I'm gonna do two scoops. Because... Okay, we're adding. We're going in a big clump of hair. We're just adding it to the hair and we're painting her shirt at the same time. Here's the first little thing. Why are we taking clumps of hair and coloring it? Because her consistency of her bleach was very, very thick, that's gonna make it so that the bleach isn't gonna actually like penetrate all of the hair and it's gonna stay in the exact place that you put it on top of the hair. So she's probably gonna end up with a lot of spotting and a lot of like dark hair and a lot of like light and dark and orange and blah, 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 because there's no consistency with the application process. So, yes. I don't know why being blonde really just accentuated how long my hair is. You know why? Lighter hair makes your hair look longer. Oh, it's an illusion, obviously, but uh, that's because light colors come forward and dark colors go back. Oh, she went to a salon. Y'all, this is what ha this is what be happening though. It's like y'all be out there, you know, buying your own bleach and shit, spending all that money on it and doing it your own and wasting all that time and effort. I okay, and now her hair is really got purple. Stolen, but all signs point to it being stolen. So <laughs> please watch the ads on this video if you uh, love me. Girl, there is no ads. 
watch the watch the ads anyway, you know. Um, oh yeah, my hair's purple too. Um, <laughs> oh. So much has changed. Um, the stylist was like, uh-uh, I am not working with this and we're going purple. That's what I would have done. It's actually not Just kidding, all. I would have probably done it. See, I was going to make a genius video of me bleaching and dyeing my own hair. I bleached it two times in one night and then I tried to save it by putting the blue hair coloring in it. Turned into actual grinchy, swampy ogre color. You guys, if it was that easy, everybody would be doing it. Let's recap on this hair situation. <laughs> she bleached it way too many times one day. Then tried to put toner over her orange hair, and I went to a hairstylist and I turned it purple. Makes sense to me, right? Um, I don't mind the purple on her. I just wish that her roots were darker purple, um, and her ends were lighter purple instead of it being the opposite. Whatever you guys do, any kind of like, I, I just wouldn't recommend doing one tone of color on your hair. It just never kind of, that's the difference between getting professional color and non-professional colored. It should always fade from a darker color to a lighter color, or it should be variations of color. And that is the big difference when you know somebody did it by themselves or went to a colorist to get it done because there is no variation and it's kind of like, too light on the top, too dark on the bottom, and then it's just a mess. But yeah, if you guys ever do a, a solid color, just please at least make it darker on the top and lighter on the bottom. You can also start with a darker color, um, just pure pigment of the purple, and then mix that purple with some conditioner for the bottom. Um, that way you just have some variation of color and it looks a little bit more professionally done. And now, on to the next video. Morning, Tuesday, and it is gonna happen. I'm going from black to blonde or, you know, as far as I will get. I just filmed a short update video for my main channel. You can check it out right here, talking about my hair and what is the going state. And yeah, on? I think they will crumble apart when I do the rest. So let's hope for the best, it might be entertaining. That's how they look right now. I we can only hope so. Flex, and then there is also fiber I've actually never used Blonde Me. What, is that what it says? Schwarzkopf, but I really like the label. <laughs> by Schwarzkopf and it's fairly hard to get the other two. This one apparently is the least competent product, but in my opinion, you know, these are all copycats, so I will use this. I think they kind of are one, copy, one all copycats of Olaplex, but. Hairs. This is a developer from Blonde and it's a 6% 20 volt volume. and a premium okay. lighter, lightener. The ratio okay. between these two. Please don't tell me he's using just that one pack for his entire head. What is going on with the color right now? Sorry, but like, Chris, Mr. Chris Viral Vlogs, it ain't it. Guys, these videos, I'm not even like, like my facial expressions, maybe they're a little dramatic, but like, that is actually how I feel currently. Like, what is the thought process behind this? There, I hope there is none. So he buys great bleach, Blondor, which is expensive. I don't think it's nearly enough whatsoever. It is not shampoo. Not everything in life lathers, babes. Okay? You can't put it on the top of your hair and go woo 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 and have it go everywhere. It doesn't fucking lather. <laughs> Thanks for watching. So 35 more minutes, then I will wash my hair and then we check the result and then I will get to apply number two. Let's hope for the best. Almost there, three minutes left. And it's starting to kind of, it's coming down my skin like it's everywhere, it's all the way like, so yeah, it's starting to get really... Why don't we do the roots? Concealer, oh, and damage, and now I oh, to my, my it looks like the last girl's hair. Size. I mean, it took you like that and then, like, okay, whatever. Yeah, not whatever, it's not whatever. What freaking ever. Mm, this smells like so good. I also tried like spreading it apart a bit and getting it yeah, in spread there. Spread that and, hair apart. Yeah, again, <laughs> the side of my head was very problematic as well. But I think it's definitely manageable doing it alone, especially after two or three rounds maybe. There should be only a few spots left and then you can target them spots specifically. Well, to start with the spots, basically put on a lot of bleach on them. And it should work fine, I guess. So getting this number two in there, I don't know how much. This is the worst advice I've ever heard anybody give. 
Like, just admit that you have no idea what you're doing. Don't try and tell people, like, this is how it works. Please. And babe, Chris, love the uniqueness, but I have to say, not a huge fan of this haircut going on. Would love it if it was all grown out long or like you said, a little bit of an undercut, but I'm not exactly sure how you ended up with like 10 inches of hair and the rest all shaved. But hey, we're all entitled to being unique and doing whatever we want with our hair. So like, have more power to you. Okay. Not my thing, but. I mean, but first, oh my God, check this out. Yeah, buddy, those ends are gonna. My hair is actually <gasps> hours my last. Expected, but it still felt pretty demoralizing. So after this one, I'm done. I could go for two more. And by the way, this time I use a full pack of. Okay, I want to know what the hell is happening here because what is it? this is the fourth time he's bleaching his hair. It's still orange. Either he's not leaving it in his hair long enough, he's not using a high enough developer, which he isn't because he's using 20 volume and he's not touching his scalp. He should have used 30 volume and done it way less times. Also, he should incubate it with some foils. He should be putting it under a steamer or heating it to allow the bleach to process faster and get lighter in less amount of time, but he's doing it the hardest way possible. This is the final result after four waves of bleaching, four bleaching cycles, rip hair. Rip. Oh, and it's God. not even white yet. So it really is freaking yellow. Oh, ladies and gents, let's just not do our, let's not do a bleach more than maybe two times one day. Three, no, four, no. It's not a good idea. That is all for today, you guys. I hope you could enjoy that with me and have a little laugh and have a little kiki with me. Don't forget to enter my giveaway like I talked about in the beginning of the video. If you didn't already see that, you skipped over it. Well, mm -hmm. wow, thanks a lot. Stop skipping my intros. Giveaway, it ends May 16th. All you gotta do is follow Brad Mono MIC, X Mono Hair, like the most recent picture on my account, and that is all you gotta do to win my gigantic giveaway worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And thank you guys so much for watching today and always watching, I appreciate all of you. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace!